Hey West Seaford students and families, my name is Mr. Forsen and I'm the school counselor at West Seaford and this is week one of our online classes and uh, this is our video for guidance class. Uh, and during this time, I've been thinking about waiting, having to wait for something. Um, maybe it's waiting for uh, being, able, being allowed to open up a present. Maybe that's for your birthday or for a holiday. Uh, maybe it's it's waiting to get to somewhere that you're going for vacation or even if it's just waiting to get to a store uh, waiting stinks <laughs> it might even be waiting for the bus to show up in the morning uh, it, that can be so stressful and just having to wait around and during this time where we're waiting for our school to reopen <clears throat> it made me think of a story that my kids love uh, it is a, a book by Mo Willems and it's called waiting is not easy and thanks to Scholastic, we're allowed to have um, permission to be able to read these stories online. And that's what I wanted to start with today for our lesson, is reading a story called Waiting is Not Easy. And it's part of the Elephant and Piggy series that Mo Willems does. Waiting is not easy. Gerald, I have a surprise for you. Yay, what is it? The surprise is a surprise. Oh. Is it big? Yes. Is it pretty? Yes. Can we share it? Yes. I cannot wait. You will have to. Wait, what? Why? The surprise is not here yet. So I will have to wait for it? Yes. Groan. Oh well, if I have to wait, I will wait. I am waiting. Waiting is not easy. Piggy, I want to see your surprise now. I am sorry, Gerald, but we must wait. Groan. Oof. I am done waiting. I do not think your surprise is worth all this waiting. I will not wait any more. Okay, I will wait some more. It will be worth it. Groan. Eek. Piggy, we have waited too long. It is getting dark. It is getting darker. Soon we will not be able to see each other. Soon we will not be able to see anything. We have wasted the whole day. Well, um, we have waited and waited and waited and waited and waited. And for what? For that. This was worth the wait. I know. Tomorrow morning, I want to show you the sunrise. I cannot wait. Wow. <clears throat> See, what made me think of this book? Well, you did. I know there are many unknowns right now going on, and I am excitedly anticipating the day that we get to be back together. I prefer to think of the positive uh, and create positive goals instead of focusing on the worry or the unknown, or as we've learned in class, the things that we just can't control. And we can't control what's going on right now. So I'm gonna ask you to do something for me. 
if you can, I want you to work with your family or by yourself. You can write it down. You could just talk about it with a family member. But if you write it down, I want you to send it to me through Dojo. I want you to come up with a top five list. Now this top five list, I want it to be a list of the five things that you are most excited about for returning to school. The thing that you are anticipating the most for when we can return to school. Maybe it's um, to see your friends or to get a hug from your teacher. Or maybe it's to go to specials or to learn from your teachers or to be able to use the computer or just to be back to a normal schedule. Maybe it's to be able to celebrate your birthday if it's at the end of the school year in the cafeteria with Mr. Reed singing happy birthday. But before we end, I want to share with you my top item for what I am anticipating the most upon our return. That number one thing that I am excitedly anticipating is your smiling faces. Your smiles brighten my day every time we're in the halls at West Seaford. The high fives, the uh, chicken wings, the fist bumps, but those smiles that you bring to West Seaford every day. That is what I'm most excited for when we're back together. So, I'm Mr. Forson, and if no one has told you yet today, as I always tell you, I love you, the staff at West Seaford loves you, we all care about you, and we want you to just be thinking of the positive during this time.